This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 17th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and I have to say it's nice to be back in central Alabama. Enjoyed the National Weather Association Conference in Norfolk, but uh, nice to be back. Satellite image this morning shows that we have a good deal of clouds as we have a couple of weather features that are impinging on Alabama. One of those features is a cold front that is off to our northwest, and uh, that feature expected to move through here uh, late Sunday, and that uh, looks like it's going to give us a bit of a soggy weekend. And in the upper atmosphere, uh, we have a major trough over uh, the north central part of the United States, but there's a little uh, weak trough a little further to the south uh, over the lower Mississippi River Valley that's also helping to create some showers along the Gulf Coast. Temperatures are warm this morning. Uh, the clouds helping to keep temperatures up overnight. As a matter of fact, my midnight temperature last night was 81 degrees. That's just uh, ugh, that's just too warm. Uh, and after all, it is September. It's time we started seeing a change. Temperatures across central Alabama generally in the mid-70s this morning. We do expect temperatures to stay down with the presence of a few more showers as well as the clouds. So it looks like highs primarily in the range from about 84 to 87 or so. Radar shows features along, uh, shows some echoes along the Gulf Coast from Louisiana all the way over to uh, North Florida. And then we have uh, the rain across the Mid-South that is ahead of that cold front. Watch warning map is pretty empty this morning. We do have some flood advisories in south central Missouri, and we have dense fog. That's the gray area across parts of uh, Kansas and Missouri. Our QPF is kind of nice to see. It's kind of nice because we are in a bit of a drought across here. It looks like probably, while everybody won't get rain since it's going to be a showery nature, it does look like probably on the order of a half to three quarters of an inch are amounts that we are fairly uh, confident in some places seeing across uh, central Alabama. And this will be our first really significant widespread rain for quite some time. As a matter of fact, uh, the drought index, uh, which is um, published around uh, a couple of days ago, shows you that the uh, forecast is going to be nice to have that because we have drought over a good deal of uh, central Alabama. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk area, uh, surrounded by a marginal risk area over primarily the Texas Panhandle and West Texas and a little bit of eastern New Mexico. Another marginal risk around uh, the eastern Great Lakes from eastern Ohio to western uh, New York State. On day two, that'll be Sunday, we have no risk areas. That's nice. And then on day three, which is Monday, we have a marginal risk from uh, eastern and southeastern Iowa over to the southern part of Lake Michigan. And the tropics remain fairly active. We have three systems. We have Julia just off the coast of uh, the Carolinas and Georgia. We have Carl out in the Atlantic. And then we have another area that is of disturbed weather that has just moved off the African coast. Taking these one at a time, there's Julia uh, on a satellite image. Julia is pretty uh, weak. It's a depression and expected to stay a depression. Uh, for the next several days as it dissipates finally by Monday. Carl uh, is coming out of an area where it's been uh, sort of hostile for any kind of tropical storm development. So I expect it to see uh, uh, stay at to tropical storm strength here over the next couple of days as it gradually increases. And by uh, late Monday, uh, pardon me, late Wednesday and into early Thursday, it could become a hurricane. And then the area just off the Atlant uh, just off the African coast, uh, is actually moving into an area where it's favorable, as it continues on a west northwest track, uh, favorable for development. That is all right. The 060 GFS model run, <clears throat> and there's our uh, trough across the north central part of the United States, moving uh, eastward, and we have this little short wave that is uh, over the the uh, coastal region, and that just means that we're going to see showers. And again, the first widespread showers probably that we've seen in uh, quite some time across central Alabama. The trough uh, is slow to move and uh, staying with us on Sunday. So the cold front is not going to blast through here very quickly, but it should come through during the day on Sunday. So we should see uh, things begin to change by Sunday evening across uh, central Alabama as the rain should move on out. By Monday, the, the uh, trough has moved almost to, not quite, but almost to the east coast. And so that should clear us out. 
uh, and uh, the Moss guidance is suggesting dew points falling into the lower 60s. That's going to feel mighty nice. But don't look for a big change in the highs as we're still going to be dancing with the 90 degree mark. And there's a quick look at the precipitable water values. And you can see that real dry uh, air mass uh, over Tennessee, Kentucky, and down into north and central Alabama. The 594 Heat Ridge raises its ugly head. Fortunately, not over Alabama on Tuesday, but over Texas. It's going to be pretty warm out there, and it's going to allow us to stay warm with highs uh, around 89 to 92 as a possibility. But we do stay dry as we see a, a large high-pressure area to our uh, north. Now, Wednesday, we begin to introduce some uncertainty into the forecast. Uh, first of all, we have the ridge, we have, and that's not uncertain. That's pretty certain. But notice the, the little disturbance that is coming in off of the uh, Atlantic into the s southern part of Georgia and North Florida. And that's where the uncertainty comes in because this is a very weak feature. You know, uh, James says, uh, upper low weatherman's woe. Well, that's an upper low. And uh, I'm a concerned that the GFS is not bringing enough moisture with it. As you can see, uh, there's not many showers on Wednesday, especially over our way. Thursday, it reaches uh, south-central Georgia, so it's a very slow mover, which is uh, to be expected as these things meander somewhat as it's moving westward. And uh, once again, the showers, not, not much. Remember, the flooding that occurred in Louisiana a few weeks ago, that was with, with an upper low. And then the upper low is not quite as easily identifiable by, by Friday, but by Friday it's over uh, central Alabama. And once again, I'm just afraid that the uh, GFS is not picking up on enough moisture, and therefore we're going to probably introduce a, a small chance, a 20-30% chance of showers for Friday and maybe even keep it into Saturday uh, because that feature stays with us, even though it's not quite as identifiable. Saturday, though, we're really beginning to watch this next strong trough that is coming out of the Rockies, and that uh, could be affecting us the following week. So it looks like uh, some chance for showers next Saturday as well. Looking out into voodoo country, and uh, we see that that trough finally makes its way uh, into the central part of the United States by Wednesday, the 28th of September. That moves on through, and we come back under a ridge. So we're going to end September on a relatively warm note. Uh, may not see 90s, but probably uh, at least 80s, mid and upper 80s for sure. And then by the time we reach 2nd of October, it looks like uh, a warm and wet pattern as we have a very deep trough over, uh, well, not deep, but we have a very broad trough over the western part of the United States. And um, that certainly brings a Pacific moisture fetch all the way up into the south central part of the United States and across the southeastern U.S., so it could be wet. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.